We are preparing to go to the Gulf Coast Reconstruction Conference um, at the Poncher Train Center in Kenner near the airport. You shouldn't drive. Okay. Here. So it's almost like we should be saying, we are facing a state of emergency. I'm going to speak um, as HUD, as the Deputy Assistant of uh, Secretary of HUD, who couldn't make it, and CNN is going to be covering it live. This conference was taking place on the first anniversary of Katrina. A thousand contractors who were rebuilding New Orleans would be there. What's that? Nagan's coming, Mayor Nagan. Oh my God. Mayor Ray Nagan coming just a bit more than we expected would happen. When we'd hatched our scheme, we told this guy, the conference organizer, that we represented Alfonso Jackson, the head of HUD. When the mayor and governor found out that Jackson would be there, they had to be there too. Once again, the keynote speaker wouldn't show up, but his assistant would. Would the mayor notice that something was wrong? And what would the contractors think of HUD's radical new approach to public housing, an approach that could cost them money and even put some of them out of a job? Please join me in welcoming Mayor Ray Nagan of New Orleans. And please also join me in welcoming Renee Oswin, the Assistant Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. So it's an honor to um, share the stage with our two partners in recovery, with Renee Osmond representing HUD, who's definitely one of our most important partners in this rebuilding effort, and Mayor Nagan of New Orleans, whose challenges are enormous. And I also want to stop and thank Renee, who's here from HUD. HUD has been an incredible, incredible partner with us. We are on the verge of doing some really unique things, some things that we could have never tackled in the city of New Orleans. And now we are poised and positioned to enhance uh, public housing in the city of New Orleans. You know, there's lots of information out there. There's lots of misinformation out there, you know. And, uh, but I have a fundamental belief that truth and lie cannot stay in the same place at the same time. It reminds me of a story I once heard. Truth and Lie went swimming one day in Lake Pontchartrain. They went skinny dipping, so they laid their clothes on the banks, and they were out there having a really good time. But then Lie all of a sudden jumped out the water, put Truth's clothes on, and started running down Esplanade Elysian Fields Avenue. Truth got out the water, started running after Lie. So ladies and gentlemen, what you had was a well-dressed Lie being chased by naked truth. It's quite a tough act to follow, nothing like that to make you feel a bit naked, eh? Uh, <laughs> dear friends, it is with the greatest joy that I announce to you today a brand new Department of Housing and Urban Development. Everything is going to change about the way we work, and the change is going to start right here today in New Orleans. Until last week, our MO here at HUD was to tear down public housing whenever we could. Like many folks in Washington, we thought that the projects caused crime and unemployment. We were wrong. When we tore down St. Thomas and replaced it with mixed income flats, only one of 27 former residents ever made it back, and the rest have faced many problems, in some cases even homelessness. It just didn't work. We won't make that error again. This afternoon, we will begin to reopen all public housing projects in New Orleans and allow these Americans to be part of their city once again. But opening doors... But opening doors won't be enough. As you know, the main reason New Orleans was so vulnerable to Katrina was the destruction of the wetlands. I am very, very, very pleased to announce that Exxon and Shell have agreed to finance wetlands rebuilding from part of the $60 billion in profits this year. As J. Stephen Simon, Exxon Vice President, writes, ExxonMobil is earmarking $8.6 billion from revenues our company has made in this region so as to assure, assure that ExxonMobil never again has a hand in destroying a large American city. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we will rebuild not just New Orleans, we will rebuild the American dream. 
please come join us at the Lafitte Housing Complex for a ribbon cutting ceremony immediately after the plenary session. This is what we're all here for, so let's make it happen. Let's bring New Orleans back. I thought it was very uplifting. This has been a big problem. A lot of people want to come home and they have been unable to do so. So I thought it was a very positive uh, message. Well, very encouraging. And what's really encouraging in particular is not only getting people back home and helping them rebuild, but the recognition that we have to deal with Mother Nature and uh, that uh, Exxon is going to make some uh, significant contribution to restore wetlands, is, it's very encouraging. This was encouraging. When the contractors heard that the government was going to do the right thing, even though it might cost them some business, they cheered. Friedman was wrong. Greed alone didn't rule the world. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is CBS Radio, WWL. Absolutely. Oh, okay, thank you. And this time, we'd gotten away with it. Or so we thought. The city and the state both say they've not heard anything about this. This announcement comes as a surprise to the governor's office and the mayor's office. Yes, Why would HUD do this without consulting the city and the state? Well, it's such an, it's, it, we haven't done this without consulting with them. You have no cards. You say you're new to the agency? I have a card, but it's back at the office. I'll get it to you. Where is your PR team? I'm um, right here. Hi. There. Hi, you're with HUD? Yes, I am. Do you have a car? There's an entire HUD housing project there mm -hmm. left unfinished. Yeah. There are some saying that this is a farce, that you're not truly with HUD, and that this is not an actual announcement. Well, they can say whatever they want. Who are these people? Where is your office? In Washington. Where in Washington? He did just he just joined the agency from France. He's a from France. Yeah, he's been a special uh, attaché to the Department of the Interior in France. I, why, why are you so skeptical? I just heard the speech, and I have a newscast very shortly. I need to confirm if it was a real speech from HUD or not. The governor and the mayor knew nothing of it. They were shocked. We desperate we desperately need to know if this is a, is, is real or not. He's standing right here, the man who just apparently committed this hoax on your department. Okay, I'm on the phone with HUD right now, and they say you're a liar. Okay, well, they can say whatever they want. I mean, I'm sorry? They can say whatever they'd like. They can say whatever they'd like. But you work for them, don't you, as a deputy secretary? That's right. Now that you've been discovered, do you want to explain to me why you did it? I mean, if you're trying to make a point, why don't you come over here and tell me why you did this? All right. All right, man. I'll call you in a few minutes. But it is a hoax, a massive hoax today. You, you just pulled off a heck of a hoax. Thank you. It, I, I mean, I would, I would say that, you know, HUD is pulling off a hoax by, by pretending that tearing down affordable housing is what's going to solve it. I mean, that's what they've been doing until now. This is a time when all of these people are clamoring to get back in. They want to get back into their housing, and they deserve to be there. It's crazy. And worth, and worth lying to oh, absolutely. all these people. Absolutely. To to actually point. telling the truth. This is actually truth telling where normally there would only be lies. Thank you, whatever. How difficult would it be to remediate uh, what you see here today and make it inhabitable, say, next week? Just take off the, take off the covers here. Oh, yeah, that's a good start, yeah? Absolutely. That's it. Finally, we will be reopening public housing for the residents for the workforce that's going to move back in and again rebuild New Orleans. Sick, twisted, cruel. Those are all words used to describe the prank on Louisiana officials and about a thousand contractors in New Orleans today. I'm Deputy Assistant Secretary uh, to, uh, of the assistant essentially of uh, Secretary Alfonso Jackson. Renee Oswin can't get his title right or his relationship to HUD Secretary Alfonso Jackson. After taking the mayor for a ride, these contractors followed him to a makeshift ribbon cutting at the Lafitte Housing Project. Mr. Oswin, you're not even on the directory of HUD. You're not even listed. You don't even have a phone number. It's come to that, has it? It's come to that. Well, thanks for being the one to break the news. Hanno, the Housing Authority of New Orleans, says this is simply a cruel, cruel joke, uh, trying to give people some kind of uh, fake hope that they were going to be able to move back. It is terribly sad that someone would perpetuate such a cruel hoax and play on the fears and anxieties of families who are desperate to return to their homes. And then we just had it confirmed from HUD um, that he's not actually an employee of HUD, which is all a big hoax, this whole ceremony here, this whole press conference.
Like but I guess it's just to call their hand. It's just to call their hand. I, I respect this host because maybe it'll take a host like this to bring them out here to see what we going through. So it's a host what it be, a host is what we got. And I ain't mad, I'm going to eat some barbecue. And I think what you guys exposed is the fact that HUD could do these great things if they wanted to. Secondly, you got the attention of the residents, so now they're going to begin to ask, well, why aren't you doing these things? And number three, you're creating a controversy to feed off, to organize, and to build a struggle to the next level. So in my opinion, everything y'all did was excellent.